Okay, Phil, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. This is a, a larger model of the fuel cell that I sent you, of course, with the, uh, but it's got, it, it's got different connector plates. Um, here, uh, you see the, um, see the anode side and the cathode side. This is a anode, four neutrals, cathode, four neutrals, anode, four neutrals, cathode, um, so on and so forth. Here's the uh, 200 amp relay that's uh, connected to to the uh, to the ignition switch. And here, um, this whole thing's powered off the battery and a high amp relay. I mean, I'm sorry, and a high amp alternator. Um, and uh, here's a reservoir right here that the electrolyte goes into goes down this hose right here into the bottom of the cell this hose configuration right here comes out the top of the cell um, here's a check valve to keep everything flowing up and then this is return uh, this is necessary as a check valve facing inward um, so whenever it's cooling down it doesn't uh, it, it, it doesn't collapse this or, or break or break this check valve here it'll actually just suck air in right here as it's cooling down um, this here is the bub is the bubbler this is a pressure release valve in case there were to be a flashback we never never had one um, but if it if it exceeds about 50 psi inside of here it'll uh, it'll blow this um, and it all all this is is a spring with a with a cork stopper in there um, but it's very it's very efficient uh, this is the is the outlet like I said the the HHO gas bubbles through here or it comes through here bubbles through this apparatus and comes out of here where it is routed back this way and it comes into um, it, it goes straight into the air intake and I have this one actually going to the vacuum motion of the throttle body which is uh which is just giving it an immediate horsepower boost and um that's basically the way we have this set up what we're wanting to do is get this all inside of one box um i have a couple of designs for that already but uh the design is going to be changing here because this is a three quart we want to change this into a six quart to uh to make it good for semi trucks um so that's what we have right now and um and i have all this stuff sourced so uh, I actually made this by hand, but um, but we can uh, we can make all this all this kind of stuff differently. Um, I have all, I have everything here sourced, and uh, so I'm making this video so we can uh, go ahead and get started on trying to work on that. Um, and I'm sending you all the pictures as well. I'm sure you have already received them. Okay, but thank you for your time, and um, I look forward to working with you. Bye.